Hello, welcome to round four of the Almond Cat Hour of Devastation Sealed League. Uh, we're currently 3 0, so let's see if we can keep this going. Uh, I will keep this hand. Um, it's mostly a lot of mana, but we have all of our colors, um, which is kind of important in this deck. Okay, so green is fine. We really need to find a way to get cards into our graveyard for um, countervailing wins. It's possible we end up just having to cycle it away, uh, especially if we just keep drawing lands, which is the risk of playing this hand. Okay, that's uh, I think that's Swamp. Well, actually, probably any land was the worst draw in our deck, because this Manolith lets us play uh, any spell we can draw. The the main reason I'm able to keep a hand like this is... what is that? Oh, sure. The main reason I'm able to keep a hand like this is we have two very powerful um, board wipes in our deck. And so, you know, even if our opponent can build up a pretty strong board presence pretty quick, um, we're just drawing to such powerful cards that it doesn't matter so much. Yeah, so... I think here we wait one more turn. I mean, it's just a 2-2 two -two and we can take a bit more damage. Maybe we can even wait more than one turn, but we'll see what they do. I think they missed a land drop last turn. I forgot who went first. Okay, I went first. Okay. Ooh, okay, we can go Hour of Devastation into Bone Picker. That's pretty good. See, this deck's great. <clears throat> so now we're also drawing to more board wipes. Um, we have a counter spell up now. It only counters for one, but um, we can start racing with the cartouche. There's a riddle form. One, two, three, one, two, three. I think I'm just going to play the cartouche and the next turn play the riddle form. Because our opponent's missing land drop, so even though this only counters for one, it might still be good here. I play my land. <coughs> so it's kind of hard for opponent um, in green black to remove a four three creature. Uh, what I'm thinking is maybe they have like final reward or that card they have to put a minus one minus one counter on their guy which would kill it so I think we're in a pretty good position here and even if they do kill it then we have a brittle form and a bunch of mana to keep scrying every turn so that's not even bad for us okay so they do have to kill their guy and we can't counter this that's okay Ooh. I like that. Yeah. Get that bone picker back in play. This card, I didn't realize that it doesn't exile at end of turn. Yeah, it's really hard to come back from that. Okay, so our opponent's green, black. I don't really think we need to sideboard much. So, yeah, our deck's great. <coughs> so yeah, you can see, even though we were able, we kept a hand with a bunch of mana and we drew a ton of lands, it doesn't matter so much when every spell in your deck is so powerful, except maybe like this guy. But even he allows us to discard lands to draw better cards. 
Eternal of Harsh Truth. I'm, yeah, I'm still not sure about the Sphinx. We only have six blue sources, and it is double blue, but I think I'm going to keep it. Because um, it is very powerful. We have, like, maybe two cycling cards, but just a five mana 4-4 four, four flyer is really hard for people to beat, especially in green. So here I don't actually know how my opponent sideboards, like, I don't know how I would sideboard around this much removal. I mean, I guess you just have to play very conservatively if they play like one creature at a time, but then I have other removal spells to deal with that. Okay, so we're on the draw. This hand can be very good if we draw a land. That is a bit risky though. All these double red, I think I need a mulligan here. <laughs> as much as I hate to keep this hand, I think I should. It has all my colors. Um, removal spell for kind of early interaction. <laughs> but just most importantly, having all my colors in this deck is very important. Yes, yeah, your opponent's playing rune red, which. It does one damage to us, and then eventually we can just kill it with the cartouche. Ooh. That's a really good card. So they're playing a desert. I think I'm going to play the Eternal here. Then they're going to keep their guy back to block, and then we just kill the rat with the cartouche. It's a really good exchange. Oh wow. Yeah, next turn we can go Cartouche plus Bone Picker. I'm gonna play the Mountain just to leave up Puncturing Blow in case we need to play that next turn, but we can just go Swamp, Cartouche our guy, he dies, and then we get to Bone Picker. That's so strong. Okay, never mind. Well, this paincaster is good enough. So yeah, I'm going to wait on this cartouche. Um, I think I'm going to play this extra mountain. Because if we discard, I think I probably will discard this swamp. And I'm going to keep open red. Yeah, that's not good for our opponent. So the rat's probably dying, which enables our bone picker. Uh, interesting to note, puncturing blow bone picker, not really a combo. No! Well, we still traded two for one. run out the bone picker. Because <laughs> they, you know, had to waste a premium removal spell plus their creature to kill my 3-drop. So we got a lot of man advantage and card advantage. Search for a card. Okay. So, almost no matter what creature they have, um, I think Puncturing Blow kills all of the gods and exiles. And Riddle Form is really good. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter. I'll keep open double black. Swing for three. I'm um, saving this cartouche because I really want to see what they tutored for first. Archfiend of Ifnir. Plus cycle. Okay, that's good. Okay, so 
we're going to puncturing below the Archfiend. Uh, so they returned it to their hand. Okay. Oh wow, they're going to make me discard two cards. That's really good. Okay, so I'm going to make this a 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, so I really, really hope they just cast Archfiend and don't make me discard cards, but that seems safer. Yeah. Get rid of the cards in my hand first. Okay, it's pretty brutal. I think I will scry an upkeep. Um, no. If I find a counter spell, I want to have it up. Or that. Uh, seven? Okay. So now we need to find a land. So my. Yeah, my opponent plays Archfiend. He can't even really take this three. Sure. So that's, I think that's what they tutored for. Island. Yeah, I think I'll play it. Um, the question is, do I animate the riddle form? They can only really have one cycling card? I think the answer is yes. Yeah, so we're going to make you a 3-3. Three, three. Make a 4-4. Four, four. So we're going to swing out. They can take 7 if they want. And it seems pretty bad. And if they kill the Bone Picker, Torment of Venom. Okay. Uh, we're just going to... Oh, I can sacrifice him, actually. Oh, that's so good, because then I can get him back next turn. Okay, so they take three, and then they're probably just dead next turn. They have no cards in hand. Alright, we got there. Uh, still 4-0. See you guys next round.